Well, folks, my beautiful wife almost killed us. <laughs> we riding down the highway. We've got a little man back here in the back. Smile. Sleepy. Smile, little man. He just so, as we usually do, me and my homeboys, we play the lotto. And we put the tickets in for, uh, we take a picture of the ticket and we put it in on our, uh, in our group chat. But this time it's Texas Lotto. But uh, we don't do that one because Texas Lotto is probably about, how should it ever get to is like 10 million. So, we're rolling down the highway. My wife is over there checking numbers. So all of a sudden she just started her, say, hubby, what does it mean when it says claim at the lottery? I'm saying, hold up. I said, you mean you're talking about the lot the results are not in yet? No, she said, what does it mean when it says claim at the lottery? And I'm saying to myself, why in the world would she ask that question? So, the whole time we doing it, the whole time we doing it, so then I say, baby, count how many numbers it is so the ticket has six numbers so then she tells me no we got one of them we got two we got three we got four we got five I said is that all five numbers she said no it's one more on here but that's 26 I think we got 26 but no that's a 28 <laughs> 4.5 million dollars and we are two numbers off of the fifth number. The fifth number was 26, and we got 28. So we headed to the lottery, only for $2,000. But baby, you just got to imagine how I felt riding down this highway <laughs> just for a good two, three seconds when she said, claim at the lottery. And she couldn't, she couldn't explain it right because she ain't played lotto that much. So she was trying her best to explain it to me. And I'm just sitting over here and I said, okay, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? How are we going to do it? So I'm, I almost stopped the car. <laughs> so we got five out of six numbers. We did not win $4.5 million. That is, oh, don't bend the ticket, baby. Oh, okay. Y'all saw that. Y'all saw that. She over there trying to fold the ticket up. And just so happens that... Yep. Uh, you we was about to film on our way because we about to go do our uh, biometrics for uh, our green card. So, and that's where we was headed to do, and I stopped and bought some lottery tickets. The other day, I had a $50 bill, so I bought one candy bar and two lottery tickets. And that's what we get. And I remember the dude who I got it from at the Valero, so I'm going to take it. I'm going to give him $100. I'm going to surprise the shit out of him. And then I'll find it, but I'm gonna take it and give him a hundred bucks. But hey, it's only two thousand dollars. But hey, that feeling from getting four point five million, I freaking tell you, boy, it is amazing, 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 amazing. We shall come back when we make it to the uh, when we make it to the biometrics because it's eight fifty eight now, and we got to be at biometrics at twelve. So we wanted to get a jump on everything. So uh, we got a jump on all of it. But hey, I'm on cloud nine. I came that close to 4.5 million. <laughs> <laughs> and she messing with me. The whole time I'm trying to drive and stay in the middle of traffic, she said, well, hubby, that's 4.5 million dollars. It says claim at the lottery. And I think we got all the numbers. No. <laughs> now just imagine she's sitting over there saying that while you driving down the highway. Oh, Lord, 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 Lord. I almost ran in the ditch. But hey, we're alive and we'll make it. We shall be back. Uh, what you want me to do with this? Well, people, this was supposed to be a video of about... <laughs> so we had to wake somebody up. <laughs> this was supposed to be a video... Of about us going to do our uh going to do our uh what they call it what you yeah biometrics but we had a side swipe we had a uh not a side swipe we had to do a side step 
Like I told you, while we were riding down the road, Rose almost made me run off the road thinking we won $4.5 million. So luckily, I don't know what it told me. Say, Anthony, you need to wake up, be there early, so we can wait. So we two hours early for our biometrics. So that gives us enough time to come in here. They say it only takes 20 minutes, so as long as we out of here by 1045, we should be all right. But we had to wake somebody up and he is dragging on. He don't want to walk. So I'm going to turn it off for now and we'll update later. Bye. Thank you. And we'll come back when we get back to biometrics. Hi, Dodie. What you doing? Abby. All right, folks. If you come in in Houston and you going to the uh, going to get your biometrics, you'll be coming to this place right here. Application support. All the way down 45, going towards uh, Galveston. So today has been a wild ride. And you have enjoyed it with the lands. The thrill of almost winning $4.5 million. And Rose trying to send information on there that ain't going to have to blur out. But we went and got her biometrics done for her green card. And uh, the next point is, is when they're either going to make us come in for an appointment. Or if they're just going to issue the green card out. So now, it is noon. Oh, our promo is for noon. Here, hold this. I gotta put this seatbelt on. Our appointment was for noon. We showed up 15 minutes early because like I told you, we ran over to the lottery office and did that one because I said we was going to get up here two hours early and do that one. So then we went and cashed the check. And then somebody's in the back. He wants to wait till we get to the office and start fussing. Are you going to wave, little man? Or are you just going to sit there and just look? Oh, you done did your stuff. And this is what we got from the lottery. We are official winners of the lottery. <laughs> they had to go to the claim office. Luck happens. Texas lottery. Texas, Texas lottery. Yeah. There you go. All right. So now back to the uh, green card stuff. That's on the south side of Texas, and south side of Houston, going towards Galveston. And then, uh, what? Appointment for noon. And we was out of there by 12:15. They want to make sure how you going how you want your name put on it and everything. If you want your uh, maiden name as your middle name, or if you want it hyphenated, or if you just want to go with your husband's last name. So we went with her maiden name as her middle name. So she would be known as Roseanne Madani Land. Ha ha ha. Yeah. But all right, we will come back later on. And hopefully I can get this stuff up because I oh I got about 30 40 videos I could have been posted but I'd be busy and I'd be tired. Like now I'm gonna probably go home and take a nap. Hmm. Hey. Nap. Enjoy yourself. What you gotta say, baby? Nothing. Um Um Lana Bros is <laughs> miss that. Alright then. That's all she gotta say is uh uh like she's shy. Y'all seen the little wild girl when she had on her little, what was it? Her little uh, wolf howling in Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Peace. I Enjoy life.
You was what? I was behind the mast, so. Oh, so when we go home, you want me to put the mast on again before we ship it to the Philippines? <laughs> yeah. I okay. <laughs> All right then. Little man, you gonna wave by? Are you gonna he, wave by? He just passed. Yeah, he just mad. <laughs> he just mad because he had all that open room. We wouldn't let him run around. And then plus, you can't have cameras in there, or they don't want you being on your phone or doing none of that kind of stuff. You're in a government building, well, an official government. I don't know if it's an official government building, but that's what the sign that they have up there. And you got armed security guards, so you don't want to mess around with them. So I didn't film nothing going on in there. But he just wanted to run around and try to touch everything, pulling stuff off the shelf, and he couldn't do it. And he had a fit, and he was crying and leaving out the door <laughs> while his mama getting fingerprinted. All right. Hello. Peace.